In this video, we're going to talk about the normal distribution, which is the most common distribution that you're going to deal with in business. And it's commonly referred to as the bell-shaped curve or the Gaussian distribution as well too. So let's take a look at an example of how we would solve for probabilities using the normal distribution. Let's suppose that we have the diameter of a fiber optics cable and the target for the specification is exactly 0.5 inches. Our specifications stipulate that the cable diameter should be within the range of 0.35 and 0.65 inches. We're going to collect data and that data that we've collected indicates that the cable's diameters, which is our X value, is normally distributed with a mean of 0.45 and a standard deviation of 0 0.10. Using this information, we can solve for the percentage of cables that are produced that do not meet specifications. Since our specifications are between 0.35 and 0.65, what's outside of our specifications is anything that's greater than 0.65 or less than 0.35. So we have some of the information already from our statement. We know our mean and our standard deviation, and we're going to be solving for a certain probability. Our mean that was given to us is 0.45. Our standard deviation that was given to us is also 0.1. Using this information then, we can solve using our Z equation for the probability that a value is greater than 0.65 and less than 0.35. To solve for this probability, we're going to start by inputting our value that we're solving for in cell B18. Since we're looking for the probability that's greater than 0.65, we're going to input that cell, we're going to input that value into cell B18. Then using that information, we're going to solve for the probability using one of the Excel functions. Since we're looking for greater than a value, we're going to use one minus our norm.dist function. That gives us our value to the right of the curve. And then within the norm.dist function, we start with our value for x, which is what we're solving for and we have our value of 0 0.65 in cell B18. Then we're going to use our value for our mean, which is in cell B13. Our standard deviation is in cell B14, and we're looking for the cumulative because we want the probability it's greater than, so it's anything above that value. When we do that, we get a value of 0.0228 or 2.28 percent is our probability that cables will be greater than 0.65. So that gives us our first part of our calculation. We also need to calculate the probability that it's less than 0.35 because that's also outside of our specifications. So we'll start by inputting our value of 0.35 in cell B21. Then in cell B20, we're going to use our norm.dist function again. However, this time, since we're calculating everything to the left portion of the curve, we're not subtracting from one because that value is already given to us with this function. Then we're going to use the value in B21, which is what we're solving for, that was our value of 0.35. Our mean was given to us again in cell B13. Our standard deviation again is in cell B14. And we're using a one again because it's cumulative. We're calculating anything to the left of that point. And so we want cumulative, not just exactly equal to 0.35, which is why we use the one. That gives us a probability of 0.1587 or 15.87% chance that a cable will be less than 0.35. To get the full probability that it's outside of the specifications, we're going to add together the probability that it's greater than 0.65 
and less than 0.35. So here we're adding together cells B17 and B18 to get the total probability. And that is 0 0.1814, or if we look at it from percentages, 18.14%. So we know that 18.14% of our product will not meet specifications. From a management's perspective, we need to understand that we have to produce that much more if we need to have a certain quantity of good products, or in this example, cables. We have to make 18.14% more to make up for what will not meet our customer specifications which is very costly if we're making almost 20% more extra product to make up for our defects.